Well, there it is. Hello, welcome back to another will will be able to beat the insane computer or whatever heck challenge it is to get unbanned. So he's fighting against a map that's called Human AI. We played this before, but I don't think I've actually got a video of it on the channel. I've beaten this bot before, and Ember and True Watch played versus this bot each, um, one each, and uh, they couldn't beat it. When I played it, I didn't feel like it did anything particularly different, but this is supposed to be, you know, advanced AI for Warcraft 3, but, you know, you know, you'll, we'll see about that. Uh, the description is kind of vague and bland, and it's on Epic War, if you want it. I'll put it in the video description if you want to try fighting versus this bot yourself. Um, AI for a computer, race human only, so you can only have the computer play as uh, human. And plus, for a good challenge, put him in hard. So we put him on insane, since that's basically hard. I don't think there's a way to select hard. It's normally easy, normal, or insane. So here we go. It's Will playing as the undead at the top right. He's a red undead. And down here, we have just the honor of who is the human. And he's working on a Mountain King and Footman, I'm going to predict. He's even got a cheeky peasant here with some gold woggling back and forth. Look at it. It's almost anatomic. That basically is anatomic. Will, will, it will. Will, 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 will. Looks like Crypt Fiend build for uh, Will. So, see how he handles this. He should be able to pick off units nicely. The AI should be getting tons of gold because it's insane. So it should be bringing in 20 gold each time from the gold mine, but it only digs 10 gold. But for each 10 gold, it gets 20 gold back. And I think the same is the same for wood. So. 20 wood. So normally it would bring back 10 wood, but it brings out 20. So it's double resources. <laughs> Is Will stream sniping right now? Is the question. I don't know why I keep getting the question over and over. What was Will banned for? I answer this question like five times a day practically. And I also did it on the video, and then there were still people going, Why did he get banned? He got banned because he stream sniped. But it wasn't just like a one-off. He's a notorious stream sniping bastard. So uh, I've picked on him especially because of it. This computer is almost invisible on the minimap, so I wonder if that's going to hinder Will. We didn't pick the color for him, though. There wasn't a color that I think we could pick for him. This is just how it's come out. So he almost looks like he's a neutral or, you know, like a gray archmage. Footman pulls the murlocs. So the map we're playing here is Amazonia. This is a War 3 arena map. I suppose it was specifically designed for the computer to have like a creep path for this map. So it's not like you could probably put this artificial intelligence on any map and it would just work perfectly. It's probably specifically designed to do things on this map. <laughs> yeah, the color does uh, add to the difficulty, no doubt about it. What will stop him from stream sniping again? Not much really. But, you know, I'm hoping that he at least learns a lesson. Because if I catch him doing it again, and I mean in a way that really is just blatant and disrespectful, then, yeah, he'll just have to do this again. And he's been very stubborn and almost butthurt about this whole experience. So uh, I don't think he really wants to have to go through it again. You'd think that a punishment, right, is there to assert a certain type of behavior. As in to change it for the better. That's what a punishment is for. You learn a lesson, hopefully. That's the whole point behind learning a lesson. Will Will learn a lesson. Let's see. Computer's teching up to tier 2. That's what I'm excited about. Because at least his computer's not sitting on tier 1 for too long. If he gets tier 2, it'll get much more impressive units. Priests, sorks, spellbreakers, the likes. He hasn't gone for a fast expansion, but that might... He's not going to go for a fast expansion, he's just going to clear it. Because he can't... Well, he can afford it, to be fair. Because he gets double resources. Does he need the expansion, though? Not really. 
So this is kind of weird playing against a human player that doesn't need a fast expansion. Does the AI really need expansion? Yeah, I just said that. But yeah, that's because Speedo's stream sniping me right now. And he's on a 15 second delay. Apologize for that, Speedo. For questioning my, uh, my statement. Let's see if in 15 seconds he says sorry. Okay. Scroll of Town Portal, Rod of Necromancy, and Claws of Attack all ready for Will. The Claws of Attack will sit nicely on the Lich. I assume he's going for a Lich. Almost halfway through Tier 2. Working on this Rock Golem camp. Very quite nice. I didn't think he would apologize. Can't even spell it right. So I wouldn't accept the apology anyway. Let's see this Rock Golem drops. Oh, Invulnerability Potion and Time of Strength. Not terrible items, not sort of something you really want though as an undead versus a computer. You probably want something that's a bit more beneficial, but maybe even Potion of Mana. Greater Potion of Mana would be uh, better actually for more nuking power. What's his next target? He's up to level 3 already. It's almost like he's practiced. This is like an interesting creep path to hit exactly level 3 and then go hit another objective. But he's actually just creeping some more. AI lost some footmen to lightning. Yeah, not that clever. They never programmed it to deal with a lightning shield. Okay, there is one arcane tower. And 2,400 gold in the bank. It's looking alright for Will so far. He's about to hit tier 2 very shortly. Sent an acolyte to go for an expansion, which is probably a good idea providing the computer... Yeah, the computer... That's not a bad idea right now. The computer hasn't got any... Severe force and Will's got crit fiends. But the human does have defend, and human, I mean, I say the human, the computer does have defend. And the funny thing is, is a human player using defend, you can probably pick off some footmen because they ain't going to be so quick with it. A computer is going to react almost immediately to any, the first piercing attack that comes through is going to immediately activate defend. So Will can still snipe units, and that's what you do as an undead. Even with defend, you still try to snipe footmen, because they're still squishy. But this computer is going to be as on point as he possibly can be when it comes to saving those footmen, so it's definitely very tricky. And the beauty with defend is it does, um, you know, repel some attacks back if they're ranged. So unfortunately, Will can also hurt himself here. Oh my god, the computer's not going to finish the game already, is he? <laughs> computer's coming in, but he's pretty soft. He shouldn't be able to do too much damage here. Will's moving into a better position, using the ghouls to help defend. Death Knight looking tanky enough at the moment. Might lose a ghoul or two here, though, which is definitely going to hurt his economy. But he's up to 440 wood, so he'll be okay, actually. Looks like more cigarettes, and he needs to work on what he's going to get as his tier 2. So his hero, his tech. Two fiends are going to go down. The water elemental focus there with a couple of footmen. Pretty nasty. This human is spamming out the water elementals like a pro. Level 2 brilliant sword now being picked up. Four fiends! Dead for Will! He's actually got no units left. All oh, ghouls! <laughs> fiends are dead! Oh my god! What the hell? He has gone for this expansion, that's hurt him definitely. He needs to get those acolytes going in the expansion. He needs to get towers up as well as, po <laughs> as much as possible. I did not think those fiends were going to drop as quickly as they did to the human focus. He has the claws of attack and the water elementals, if they're level 2 I suppose, do a considerable amount of damage. So I thought those fiends would probably be okay. They weren't in the best shape, but I thought they'd still be okay. Oh, he's forcing the town port. No, the computer goes down. Just leaving the water elementals. So Will does actually get to survive for just a little bit longer, but the damage is huge. This is a really <laughs> big damage here from the computer, no doubt about it, because he's got no ghouls, he's got to rebuild those to get his economy going, because that wood is fine for now, but you know, 280 wood will disappear pretty quickly, especially if you're going for like Slaughterhouse and the likes. He's okay, he's okay. But he's hanging on by a thread. That water vent was trying to get every last scrap it can. That's a baller. I do... Okay, this computer is playing better than a normal computer. There's no doubt about that. That is proof there that the computer is playing better. A normal insane computer wouldn't do that. That's the thing though, isn't it? It's when the next wave comes. It's almost like a tower defense. The situation that Will's finding himself in now. 
He needs to get his economy going, and whilst this is happening, well, computer's going to be rearing up for next attack. Has he got his Archmage back, though? He hasn't gone to a tavern to get it. Wait, Mountain King is hard to track. Maybe if I can change the colours. No. I can change the colours, but it doesn't change the colour of the computer. He was almost looking for a finish off there. He could have probably bolt with the bash. Yeah, that was pretty map hacky. Okay, Archmage is coming out now. So very slow to get the Archmage, which is probably crucial for Wheel right now. I would suspect that the computer doesn't make a move except for when it's got its Archmage out, but it is moving to the middle. Looking like it has an agenda, so maybe it doesn't need both heroes. I thought there might be a trick in the programming where it says, oh, you have to wait for the Archmage before you really make a move, but this is a lot. A lot, a lot. So Will's got powerful heroes, level 4 and 1. Okay, it's not super powerful, but still better than uh, level 1. However, there's a lot of units to fight versus. I mean, Will, yeah, he might unsummon this. I don't know. He can try to pick off a couple of priests, but I don't think he tried to keep that expansion. Yeah, I think you let it go. You just take the time to potentially pick off a couple of units. Priests first. Although the Sorks are obviously nasty, so I understand why you might want to take those so you don't get the um, slow. But This is so <laughs> nasty. So, so nasty. Will's actually still missing one Acolyte up the top here because he's been wanting to get his units back instead. It's down to 190 wood, so two ghouls are repairing that. Oh, the Acolyte's over here. Crypt Fiend. Can it make it back? The focus is good, but... Oh, there's been... Oh, wow! The computer sent, like, one footman to go for the Fiend. I like that. But the Fiend has got out of its range enough for the computer to forget about it. Oh, that's a bad position for the Death Knight. Picking up a potion of healing, but that's not going to be enough. Luckily, the Mountain King isn't initiating with any Storm Bolts because it doesn't have the mana. The Lich in the back with the boost of speed and a lesser invulnerability. Much better position in here, though. Nice dispel from the computer getting rid of those skeletons. Statue, a little bit tricky position, but try to get what you can out of it. And the Fiend is tanking in a blocked position. Death Knight needs to return back to base just to provide the aura, if nothing else. Human is pressing hard here. This is looking tough for Will. Nice uh, save there with the Crypt Fiend. On the coil, the coil on the Crypt Fiend, that's nice. If Will could get to tier 3, which is obviously looking really hard right now, but... If he could get that Orb of Corruption, that would make his life a lot easier here for the Lich to pick off those units. He's in the back, desperately trying to go for it. He's TK in his slaughterhouse. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe this is a way to say that he's given up. I don't know. But either way, pick off the weak footman and then go for the priest or vice versa. We've got the Lich who has taken out a footman or two. One priest now. The Sorks can't really do too much damage. So the casters aren't too much of a threat here. This is actually a big pickup here for Will. Because he gets a lot of experience from this. And the computer is forced to retreat. So losing the expansion, but picking up a lot of experience. Is this a potential surround? The opportunity is there. Just missing. Five acolytes in the gold mine. I'm not sure if all the ghouls got picked off again. It looks like all the ghouls get picked off. So the computer does economy attacks. Picking off the ghouls when it can. Which is really good play, to be honest. Very few people actually do that when they attack main bases. It's very easy to pick off a couple of ghouls or two. Oh my god, this force for the... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> that was epic. I wish I could do that. A player's forces are under attack. The invisibility. As the Death Knight throws the coil out, it's not even the animation. He actually has the coil in mid-air, at melee range, practically. And the invisibility <laughs> denies the coil. Whoa. That is insane. That was awesome just to see that alone. That was so cool. One ac- Oh, well, he went back for the expansion. The computer actually did take an expansion. I didn't even see on the minimap. 
Jesus. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Will needs to take opportunity to pick off the squishy human units, which is what undead do best. And those squishy human units in particular are the fiends. Uh, not fiends, sorry. Sorks, sorks, the casters, that kind of stuff. Will's got 1,200 gold. If he gets himself a shredder, he could push back the wood. He's in a good spot. Get that shredder. Get that tech. Get the orb of corruption. But the human force will get to a stupid degree now. He's moving up to 79 food. That is too much to sort of poke and dodge around. That's the issue that Will has right now. Is He has managed to pick up, you know, a few more fiends. But you can't really dance around this army very easy. The early game, Undead dominates human. I honestly think Undead has it an easy time versus human. When I play Undead in one versus one, if I have a human opponent, I go, oh, okay, that's probably a free win. Not always. The human player might be freaking amazing and still beat me. But generally speaking, the human is the easiest to beat, I find, as an Undead player. On the highest level, maybe not, but at a medium level, it seems to be the way. It's very easy to bully human, but good luck bullying that. That's what I'm getting at right now. That is just so much you can't really dance around it. And there's no tier 3 in the line. He didn't get the shredder. He's suffering because he can't use the resources. He desperately needs to use that 1,600. That's like an extra 8 fiends. Which would really help him here. And he can't afford to lose anything right now. The experience will build up though. The Death Knight at level 5. He'll be able to chuck out level 3 coils. One fiend down. Ghouls are maybe going to be moving into a position here. Another fiend going down. The pressure on the main as well at the same time whilst having to deal with the forces because of the mortar teams on the left hand side. This might be the final nail in the coffin. Will did pretty good to be fair to actually even make a comeback here to get to this point. I was pretty sure he was 100% dead earlier. But he actually did manage to pull the game a little bit longer than he should have done. So we'll give him that much credit. As the computer stepped it up to 99, you're damn straight. He's got the other forces in base, so if this attack failed, he'd just come back with a bigger attack and a bigger attack. The only way to beat him is just with experience and hero powers. Picking up a panda as a third hero would be a really good op opportunity, I, I think, versus a human player like this. Triple undead, well, double undead heroes, coil nova nukes, and panda breath of fire would be a very good way to probably um, pick on this human who seems to enjoy coming at you with big waves. Tower up. Make the most of building up your hero's powers and their spells and make sure they've got enough mana to cheese enough kills. But this is so rough right now. Will hanging on by a Fred. Another fiend about to go down. Obsidian statue at the back. Doesn't know where to go. Goes up into oblivion. Two more fiends about to pop down into the ground. They ain't coming back up again, and the last Obsidian statue is down. Death Knight and Lich are all that is left. Not even any Acolytes. Will hanging in there. He's got a Town Portal. But there's no Necropolis, and the Lich using the Invulnerability Potion. GG! GG! Will calls the GG. <laughs> so... I guess we'll see another episode of this series where we'll, well, we'll, we'll get unbanned. So we'll have to think of what the next one. He's done one versus two, and that was just like the normal insane computers. This was a special insane computer that was a single one. So we'll have to wait and see. I have got an idea of what he could do, but I need to practice it myself first to see how doable it is. And realistic it is for him to pull it off. But it would be a much shorter game. So I'm not so sure about that being effective. But anyway. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one. Stay tuned for the next episode of Will Will Get Unbanned.